Using all of our new badges to make our way through Route 23, we arrive at Victory Road. After walking through the entrance, we head to the right and use strong push to move the boulder onto the button. Moving past the barrier and staying to the right, we find a coach trainer that will give us 10 candies for our partner Pokemon once we beat him. Heading up from here, we see another boulder with two item choices, the top item being TM56, Stealth Rock, and to the left is a Leaf Stone. Now we head back to the middle of the room where we encounter a shiny Machop, and then we head to the top left of the room to find the ladder. Reaching the top of the ladder, we head down to find another button and boulder, combine the two and we get the next barrier to go down. Beating a few trainers and heading to the bottom left of this floor, we find TM-45, which contains Solar Beam. Now we head around to the right and find a ladder. We're going to skip this for just a minute and keep heading to the top right of the room. After beating the juggler, we grab the item on the ground, which contains TM-49, Superpower. Head back down and go up the ladder to arrive on the third floor. And once we get on the third floor, we're going to immediately head to the left to find a police officer who will heal our team up at any time. Heading down from her, you can find TM51, which is Blizzard, just sitting on the floor. Now let's move this boulder up and to the left to get it through the narrow passageway, and then move it onto the switch. After activating the button, we see a barrier in the middle of the room get lowered. Now we're going to make a quick detour using the ladder in the top left to go back down to the second floor. Down the ladder we head to the right to find a PP Max on the ground, and heading up from here we see the lovely Moltres waiting for us to encounter it. On a quick side note, I would recommend you save your game here before you encounter it, just in case you run out of Pokeballs or anything else like that. Talking to the Moltres, we get greeted with a nice cinematic of him flying around us, and then we're thrown into a battle with him. Defeat the Moltres to begin the catching sequence, which is kind of like the Snorlax encounters that we've seen in the past, so it'll immediately throw you in to catch the Pokemon. Now that we've caught our Moltres and got the Pokedex entry for it, we head back to the ladder and go back up to the third floor. Back on the third floor, we make our way to the middle of the room and pass the barrier that we lowered earlier, and make our way to the bottom right of the room where we find a boulder and a hole, push the boulder into the hole so we can use that later on the second floor, and then use the boulder in the top left to push our way back to the middle of the room. Then you can go down the ladder and proceed to the second floor. Back on the second floor, make your way to the bottom of the room where we'll find our new boulder and push it all the way to the left onto the button. Now move past the barrier, defeat the Pokemaniac, and head up the ladder. Up the ladder, we find a coach trainer that will reward us with TM39, which is Outrage, and then we can head to the ladder to the left of him and head back down to the second floor once again. Now that we're at the bottom of this ladder, all we have to do is head to the right and we see the exit to Victory Road. We arrive on the other side of the cave, back on Route 23. Head north to find the Indigo Plateau and a nice little cutscene with your partner Pokemon. That's going to be it for this guide, but be sure to check out some of my other videos for more Pokemon Let's Go content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.